Hello YouTube, welcome to the video. I am Jay, this is the Jay Flat Out YouTube channel, and today I wanna to talk to you guys about one of the most important aspects of a vehicle, no matter what your application, and that is the tires. Obviously, whether you're racing, off-roading, motorcycles, UTVs, construction equipment, no matter what it is, if you cannot gain traction or you do not have a connection from your vehicle to the ground, your vehicle is useless. And when you only have a small square of surface area uh, on each corner of your vehicle connecting with the ground, you want to make sure that you have the highest quality connection you can. So I currently have the Nitto Ridge Grappler tires and what those are is a quasi kind of crossover from Nitto uh, from their hugely popular Nitto Terra Grapplers which are an all-terrain tire and their Mud Grapplers which is obviously a mud tire. So what they've done is they've taken the tread pattern which is the the part of the tire in the kind of the center, which actually obviously touches the road, which is an all-terrain tread, and they've paired it with a more aggressive mud terrain style sidewall. Um, obviously, the main focus of that was for guys like myself who spend the majority of the time on the street and don't want a kind of a really rough riding, high-pitched hum from a mud tire constantly, but want a more aggressive look than an all-terrain. So I think the principle of it was a very good idea. Um, their direct competitor is obviously the Toy Toyo RT, which uh, has a similar concept, but I think the sidewall is less aggressive. I like the sidewall look of the Nitto better. Now I've had these tires on for about 3,500 miles, um, and you know, 3,490 of those have been on the road, and with the remaining be on light trails like you saw in the intro. Now, how are they holding up? This tire is rated as a light truck tire, obviously. It's an, it's an E-rated tire, which means it can tow a good amount of weight, more than the factory tires, and it also is a 10-ply, meaning that, it, that that relates to how many kind of threads go through the tire, so it's, it's harder to break open. Now, my experience with the tire, obviously where I live in Las Vegas is very hot, and especially here in summer, when we're dealing with hot asphalt, they're pretty much tire killers. And what it does is, obviously, the heat from the asphalt just transfers straight into the tire and it reduces your wear considerably. However, I've never had it happen to me in a tremendous way. You know, it's always, yeah, okay, you might only get maybe 35,000 instead of 40, or, you know, something like that. Now, this truck has only been off-road three or four times since I've had these tires, and nothing aggressive, just like you saw in the in the intro drone clips there. Just very very timid trails, camp campsite trails, or, you know, hauling um, equipment to job sites. Nothing, nothing rocky, nothing really technical, but, the rear tires are absolutely shredded to pieces already, which is quite concerning because, you know, for a $1,200 set of tires, you expect more than even 4,000 miles. The tread is still good. How tires work is they're measured in 30 seconds of an inch when you're talking about the tread. And generally tires come with 13, 30 seconds of tread from brand new. Now I had these tires checked because I wanted to make sure I didn't get a defective set and I still have 12, 30 seconds of tread left so i haven't hardly used any of the actual tread pattern itself the other thing with these tires is i had a tremendous amount of trouble getting them balanced and i highly highly suspect that's why i'm still having slight vibrations from the passenger wheel is because they just cannot get it balanced right um, it's been on the road force machine which what that does is it puts uh, pressure on the tire as they try to balance it and it sees if the tire is out of round if the rim is bent um, I've taken it to six different locations to try to get it balanced out and it just will not go. Now, Nitto is supposed to have a customer support team where if you have trouble with tires, if you're having uneven wear or awkward wear, it just, you know, they, they're supposed to open a case, do an investigation and find out if there's an issue or if it's, you know, something outside of their warranty. One other thing you have to think about in terms of tires is the compound and what I mean by that is there's soft rubber and then there's hard rubber for different applications. Um, generally, Nitto tires have a softer compound, which gives them certain advantages, but it also gives them certain disadvantages, like in extreme heat. You gotta think, when it's 115 degrees out, the blacktop 
that you're driving on is probably got to be what 160 170 which obviously it's hard to make a tire that rides well and the consumer is going to appreciate but still deal with that amount of heat i expected a little bit better out of them it's it's a tough position though because i don't want to drop down to the terra grappler which is the just a strict all-terrain but i don't also want to bump up to a mud grappler because they also usually have a softer compound even more so than the all-terrain so kind of from here my only options are to go to a different brand which obviously the next direct competitor would be the toyo which is obviously much more popular i think than nitto anyway nitto's still relatively new in the you know all-terrain and mud terrain space compared to toyo not brand new but you know they haven't been around as long as toyo and a lot of the professional applications still use toyo tires now i don't want to knock nico nitto i've had a lot of nitto tires the 420s that i've had the terra grapplers i've had these ridge grapplers and then i have also had a set of mud grapplers so they have i have given them a fair shot and overall i've been very happy with them i was just very surprised that this set of ridge grapplers burned the back out so bad so quickly but not to completely knock nitto a lot of the wear can be placed on driving habits if you corner very quickly or if you accelerate hard very often or brake very hard very often that can accelerate tire wear i just don't feel that my particular driving should have uh, worn these rear tires out in 4,000 miles. So take away from this, um, you know, I do I do like Nitto as a company, I like Nitto as a tire, I just don't feel like uh, the amount of wear I've gotten and the, the, the type of the wear, you know, if it was if it was worn, the tread pattern was worn evenly all throughout and I I was losing a lot of actual the 30 seconds if I was already down at like 8 30 seconds you know after 4,000 miles or whatever the actual tread pattern is holding strong I have like I said the depth the depth of the tread is is extremely acceptable actually it's just the the actual knob on the tire the knobs on the tires are getting cut out really really bad and chunked out really really bad really soon so takeaway from it is you know part of it is driving every day on all terrains or mud terrains or whatever you want to call them um, does increase wear and it's you can't expect the wear to be even with a you know a street tire or a street radial but there has to be some middle ground you know I went with a less aggressive tire to extend street wear since that's where the majority of the truck uh, time is spent but you know maybe Maybe I need to look at other options in terms of Toyo or, or Goodyear and other brands. So let's sum it up with comments below. I want to hear your experience with Nitto tires. I want to hear your experience with Toyo. And if you have any other tires that ride really well on the street but have that aggressive sidewall look um, and they last, I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. Thanks for watching. As always, subscribe, like, and we'll see you next video. Oh, yeah.